Inakuwa joto wangu nguvu, mimi naitwa presenter Ali Yo Entertainment PA and by the way the A is always for amazing. Niko maeneo ya Ngong Road, uh, Kasavera to be specific. Na nimekuja kupiga story na the owner, yani one and only KRD the Don. Inakuwa bro? Inakuwa fresh mambo vipi presenter Ali? Niko poa good to see you mwaka tujaonana. Hatujaonana naona juzi bwana umeoa bwana. Tuambie ukweli bwana. Ai <laughs> KRD bwana. Hii interview ni yako. Isi yangu. Nzuri tuelewa wewe ni rafiki yangu. Mbona unafanya harusi na hujatoalika sisi mandugu zako mbana? Tuseme kweli harusi kifanyika unajua lazima uje pale. Ule pilau. Kwa hiyo hiyo ni propaganda ya mitandao tu. Tuseme kwamba harusi kifanyika utakuwa pale. Mbona ujibu ni propaganda ya mtandao au? <laughs> ile ilikuwa ile ilikuwa ni kama engagement. Okay, introduction signed uh, kind of setup sawa sawa. Haya umeniwai hapo kweli. <laughs> Anyways uko vipi? Aniko fresh. Uh -huh. Alhamdulillah tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu tumeingia 2022 na vishindo na afya iko fresh akili pia intimamu mambo ni mingi sasa sasa hivi ushapata mtu by the way mtu vipi sweni mpenzi wako mpaka sasa hivi hujamweka kwenye mitandao muda ukifika wa kuweka mambo hayo mtandaoni hata siku moja hata dakika moja iweze pita nitaweka asubuhi saa 12 Yaman. Yeah, yeah now one of the things ambazo nimeona wakati nimefika hapa of course nimeona Mbugi Genje in the building nimeona DJ Lighter uh, ni video inakuja ama inakuja video mambo mbaya bro yani video ni mbaya tarehe kumi watu wajue ni kubaya inaitwa Zible mm -hmm. Yaman. Yeah. watu waanze kwa yani shika hiyo jina KRG the Don Mbugi Genje na DJ Lighter ngoma inaitwa Zible Zible ni nini yani tumezibles <laughs> Yeah, ukaribu wako pia na nani ulikuwa ulionekana sana na conscience mpaka ukamleta hapa project project inakuja uh, audio iko tayari bado video video nafaa kukimbia Miami niwapigie chupa safi wacha wewe tight kitu alafu basi ndio ni niwapatie sasa mafanzo wa enjoy muziki unajua watu hawajui kwamba wewe ndo msanii wa kwanza Kenya kutoa video Dubai uh, bado wajajua lakini watajua muda vile unaenda watajua tofauti yangu na wao Yeah man. <laughs> na uliambia jamaa fulani anaitwa Edgar Ubare kwamba akiendelea hivyo akaunti yake itaenda. Na imeenda. Nilimwambia juzi jana imefanyika usiku. Sasa hata hiyo ambaye ameweka ambaye tumemrudisha eh, nursery school. Sasa unajua alikuwa amefika high school tena tumemrudisha kindergarten. Akifika tena hapo akisumbua tena tunamrudisha tena kindergarten. Where, where, are, are you part of the people who may take down? Bro, I have connection back to Instagram kwa office huko. I have a boss. I have a story. 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 You have a job that you have done with Edgar Bari. What do you do? This is not a good job. This is a good job. This is a good job. This is a good job. I have a job. I have a job. I am doing an interview. I am doing an interview. I, I am doing an. I am doing an interview. I can't talk on phone. Hello, listen to what I am saying. I am telling you. I am doing an interview. I am where I told you I will be. I am doing an interview for TV. Please. Okay, let me just send you a pin. But I am doing an interview. Just come there. You will find me. <laughs> I am saying. I am sending you a pin on WhatsApp. You will find me where I am. I'm, I cannot talk more on phone. I am doing an interview. I am on air right now. Yeah, Even when I just see a guy, you you are seeing one, one from by number J C. When I sumbu a sana, I'm not sure. 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 I'm Hizo ni mystical tu za leo. Za nyambazo sijazishika. Na bado nasikia pia mademu wanasumbua sana. Ah mademu wanasumbua anga tangu zamani ni vile tu yani na control tu. Unajua mimi si mimi si muuni sana. Hiyo kazi sipendi kwa sababu sipendi kuchezea wa, wanadada sana roho zao. Sasa mimi naji control tu. Yeah. Kwa hiyo tu, 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 tuweke wazi account ya kwanza ya eh, Edgar Barry ilienda. Uliusika kwa hiyo ya kwanza Anything ambayo itamfanyikia mbaya nyimu ni usishe tu. Kwa hivyo lakini mambo ya kukamatwa kushikwa hiyo tusikusishe. Ah mimi unajua mimi kumkamata mimi sina polisi zangu. Mimi naweza nikamfanya tu mambo online. Kumtusi, kumtandika vita online. Lakini pia tukikutana one on one naweza nikamkamata ngumi zake kadhaa. 
Eh. Msei kuongea one on one. Atujawahi ku. Mimi sasa kumuona tu siku moja tu kwa event moja ilikuwa pale um, Garden Estate. Pale inaitwa B B N B something. Ilikuwa inafanyikaga pale wakati wa COVID. Nilishia kumuona tu kama dakika tano tu na akakimbia. Eh. Sasa hii kumuona tena same. Lakini tukutana round hii. Wewe umeona akakimbia? Eh. Round hii nikutana naye ngumi anasikia sita. Pa 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 pa. Eh. Alafu nampeleka mimi mwenyewe kituoni. Alafu naita watu wote wana mashtaka na eh. <laughs> okay, na nani juzi pia amepiga amepiga kelele kweli? Anaitwa Kibe. Ah. Kibe asha ti. Haujaona nilimepost leo kwa Insta story. Kibe akasema ananiheshimu sana. Sasa mzee kama Kibe akishaheshimu, mbona tena mimi nibishane naye? Namwacha tu mzee akileta akionyesha heshima na mimi namuonyesha heshima. Akileta dharau na mimi namchanganyia dharau kadhaa na mregeshea. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time Kibe anaongeleaga mahusiano ya watu. Kwa sababu ya hana mahusiano unajua mtu ambaye hana kitu anaonanga cha wengine ni kibovu. Lakini mtu ambaye ana anakake kadogo anaheshimu ya ya wengine. Sasa Kibe ni mtu hana mwela. Tusimuongelelee kwa sababu ashaonyesha heshima. Tumwache mzee amisa zeka, tumwache kwa heshima hiyo tu ya, ya umri. Tumwachie tu hapo kwa sababu unajua wanasema waswahili wanasema hata wajinga uzeka. Tuachie hapo. Kwa hivyo sio kila mzee ana busara. Kabisa bas. Yeah. Okay, uh, KRG the Don uh, unaf, unafanya vizuri sana and of late you know you umekuwa very outspoken. Pale kitambo atukumuona KRG anazungumza sana, ana, 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 anazungumzia issues ambazo watu wanazileta online. But right now tunaona KRG amekuwa outspoken na amekuwa yani anazungumza sana when issues zinatokea online. Hii inatokana na nini? Au unajua nilikuja nikakaa nikaangalia mimi nitegemea wa watu wengi sana kwa sababu mimi ni kijana mdogo ambaye nimejituma from scratch mimi nilianzia zero nilikuwa sina hata shilingi 100 nime hustle mpaka nimefika mahali nimefika saa hii hakuna kitu mimi nahitaji dunia hii sina so mbona mimi ni nyamaze wakati kuna vijana wengine wadogo wanajituma na hawajui mwelekeo mbona nisiwaoneshe mwelekeo ni huu wakafuata kwa sababu mimi raha yangu ni kila mtu ambaye ako uhai asikose, asikose chakula unajua si ule mtu ambaye ni, ni wa, unajua watu wengi wakifanikiwa wanakuwa binafsi hawaambi wengine siri za maisha hawaoneshi watu mwelekeo wanataka tu wao wakuwa wanaabudiwa na hawezi kuabudu mwanadamu kwa sababu si Mungu lakini akikuonyesha njia ya kupita mpaka kwa maisha mpaka ukafika kileleni utampa heshima zaidi kwa sababu utakuwa unakumbuka kama si huyu jamaa singefika kiwango fulani yaman kwa hiyo kwa hiyo watu ambao wanasema umekuwa you got rich very quickly utawaambia nini uh, that is just stupidity of their heads na kama uh, i got qu- uh, rich so quick hata wewe fota hiyo mahali nilipita ufike hapo uone kama ni haraka kwa sababu 13 years plus is not quick kama hiyo that is quick then is the best way yaman yeah, tukiongea tu kwa ufupi ndo uweke sawa source of wealth ya KRG inatokana na nini Source of wealth kwanza inatokana ina na hard work. Alafu baada ya hard work niko na biashara nyingi sana. Niko kwa biashara ya magari. Ya magari na maanisha za kuuza, kuimport na kuuza. Niko kwa biashara ya magari ya transport business. Niko kwa biashara ya entertainment. Muziki, biashara ya muziki nimeanza 2014 mpaka sasa hivi miaka mingapi? More than seven years. Sio? So niko kwa cloth line, niko na ma niko na uh, real estate niko kwa entertainment sasa hapa hii ni bao watu wakija wakikunywa hapa pombe huwa wanalipa na mawe yao wanalipa na hela sasa nataka tutafanya vipi si ndio hiyo maisha bwana ni kujipanga mzee mm. watu ambao wanasema hivyo wajipange wajipange tunajua mtu ambaye hana unajua mtu, mtu ambaye hana busara huwa anaona watu wengine ambao wamefanikiwa sijui wamerogwa ama wameroga wengine wakapata pesa ama wamefanya biashara haramu lakini we hauoni huyu mtu ni mpambanaji kwa hiyo ukiangalia hii mahali hapa sasa kuna moto anachoma nyama pale kwingine kuna chomo nyama pia yani kila mtu akona mambo yake yanaenda wale wanatengeza ma cocktail mambo yanaenda bro yeah. mambo ni mengi yeah. simu zinaita kila dakika na kuna, na kuna vita vinaendelea online sijui kama umeviona vya jalango arobo na nadia Ah uh, nimeviona lakini like, unajua wale wote ni family yangu manze siwezi nikaingiliana wanasema vita when the family feuds don't enter in any corner wenye maza ka pembeni uangalie tu muda ukifika tutawapatanisha kwa sababu wale ni, ni ndugu kabisa bana hawawezi pigana sana 
So wacha wapigane mwisho wa siku watapatana. Nimesikia kuna ni kiki eti kuna ngoma ya Nadi na Sukumu. Kama ni kiki pia ni sawa. As long as wa Kenya washaongelelea na ishaingia kwa kichwa chao nini tena wengine wanatafuta. Si ndio hiyo sasa mambo yameenda. Amazing. Zungumza na mashabiki wako mbo siku zote wana show love, siku zote wana show support. It's your time. Ah uh, mimi nawaambia tu yani waendeleeni ku support Buga na kazi zake na si mimi peke yangu. Support mtu yote mwingine ambaye ni Mkenya anajituma na watu wote wako na good vibes. Hatutaki tu waambea, waambea mkiwapata piga mawe. Lakini wengine support to the fullest na mwa show love tuko pamoja kama dawa. Yaman, yeah, kama kawaida. Amazing. Minute of presenter Ali, your entertainment PA. There is always for amazing na siku zote. Ukitaka kufanikiwa, spend uksifiwa. Tulia, chama liza.